London and Johannesburg listed Teresa Group is an integrated resource company that specializes in chrome and platinum. It's just produced a more than doubling in revenues for the first half, while EBITDA was up more than a whopping 430%. It's also on track, it says, to produce 147,400 ounces of platinum group metals this year, along with 1.3 million tonnes of chrome concentrates. Uh, Pivos uh, Perulis joins us now, who's the chief executive of the company. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, these are quite astounding figures. If you look down the list of uh, what you've produced in terms of the financials, uh, give us a, a feeling as to what's been going on in this first half. Yeah, certainly. Well, thank you, first of all, for, for having us today. Um, I think we had a solid operational performance over the last six months. We produced some 69,000 ounces of PGMs and some 636,000 tons of chrome concentrate, uh, which really uh, gave us the ability to sell into a buoyant market. So we've seen an unprecedented rise in the chrome prices uh, from a very low of $80 in January of 2016 to a high of $390, so some 400% increase. So we were able to capitalize on those higher chrome market prices. and. The PGM basket was supported by palladium, ruthenium and rhodium um, and we posted a 10.8% higher average price for the period at $760 a tonne. The average price achieved for chrome over the six month period was $268. Uh, dollars a ton, $278 a ton, apologies. So, so yeah. what about the second half of the year? And unless we get a repeat in the, uh, the, the bullish attitude to the underlying base metal markets that you deal in, um, are you able to reproduce these sort of figures? I mean, how's the business itself going, stripping out the increase in, in, in prices you're getting? So we're a low cost producer by the virtue of the fact that we're a co-producer of platinum group metals and chrome concentrate. Uh, we have a large scale open pit mine in the southwestern limb of the Bushveld complex in South Africa. We have an 18 year life of open pit mine and we squarely sit in the lowest cost quartile of both platinum group metals producers and chrome concentrate producers. So over this last six month period if you were to look at us as a pure platinum producer and, and pass all the credits from the other chrome uh, from all chrome products as well as the other platinum group basket we have a negative cost of over one thousand dollars per platinum ounce which is kind of unheard of but it's a, an anomaly on the back of very strong chrome prices and the inverse applies if you were to look at us as a pure chrome supplier and chrome producer and passed all the PGM credits towards chrome concentrate we have an all-in cost delivered to China um, at around eighty eight dollars per ton so very competitive business uh, robust uh, financial model in the sense that we share our costs across two revenue streams which typically are counter cyclical in terms of the markets. What about Ontario? You, all your costs of course are in local currency Correct, and of course yes. that has had an impact as well. Do you explain exactly how this uh, has helped what's going on? So certainly the RAND or the weaker RAND uh, supports local uh, mining as we have a natural hedge. Uh, we export in dollars and our commodities are priced in dollars. We've actually seen a strengthening of the RAND uh, from the comparable period, uh, the prior six month interim period of some 9.3% which obviously works against us but having said that uh, we still maintain a very very low cost structure uh, with our costs being contained and within that lowest cost quartile uh, cash cost per tonne milled. Uh, we've just seen Lomin producers, the platinum producer, and I believe it's quite near you I think isn't it, the, 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 their asset. Um, do you um, feel for them, I mean do you, do you have a different way of working, what, what benefits do you have over what Lomin had because the Lomin report yesterday was the shares rose but I mean they've had an awful lot of problems. Yeah, I think the, the, the business models are very different. First of all, we're a new mining company. We are a product of the new mining charter in South Africa. We started from a grassroots greenfields project, so we designed the project from first principles, and we had always envisaged us being a low-cost co-producer of platinum group metals and chrome concentrates. So being an open pit, skilled, mechanized mine, it's a very different model to a deep level, labor intensive, uh, legacy type of um, platinum mine that you find in South Africa. So different, uh, different constraints, different parameters, I certainly do feel for them uh, because with the platinum basket as it stands today, it's very challenging uh, in this pricing environment. Yeah, uh, of course you have the benefit of also producing chrome, which is, 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 goes a long way to helping Absolutely. the other yeah. side of the thing. Absolutely. Um, let me just quickly ask you, um, who, who do you sell to? I mean, what, what, what businesses use your products? So in terms of the platinum group metals, we have an offtake arrangement with Impala Refining Services, the second largest uh, platinum producer in the world, whereby they 
they pass for a percentage of the contained metal in our PGM. So we don't ultimately market the final product, we sell on that offtake basis. In terms of the chrome concentrate, 75% of our production is what we refer to as metallurgical grade, and that is used in the stainless steel industry to, to make stainless steel stainless, and is a China-centric story. So it's China Inc. has 50% of the world's production capacity and is growing. Uh, last year had a growth rate of 12% year on year, and that is our terminal market. And we supply all your major stainless steel producers, all the big uh, Chinese SOEs uh, and, and marketing houses that provide uh, uh, raw material supply into that market. So, so the, the news out of China recently is music to your ears, isn't it? The fact that they want to have this massive intra infrastructure spend, I mean, presumably you're yeah. well poised to contribute to that. Absolutely, yes. So, so we're one of the top five producers of chrome uh, in the world, and so it's certainly we benefit from all those policy changes and, and initiatives that, that China does embark on. But one of the other products that we produce, or suite of products, is what we refer to as specialty grade chrome concentrates, and that goes into the chemical and the foundry industries, and that's a more global diversified market, and typically trades at a premium to your uh, metallurgical grade. So that's been a, a nice growth story for us. We increased our capacity from around 9% of our production to 25% over this period. So, mm. so that's been a good diversification. We're into the second half of the year now. How's it started? What can you tell us about the way things are moving? So from a production point of view, we're on track. We're achieving the required recoveries that we've set out uh, to achieve. Uh, the markets have changed. The chrome market is very volatile. So we've seen a rapid decline in the pricing from those, uh, those very high levels uh, towards the end of last year. Uh, so there has certainly been a, a re uh, rating of the chrome prices and I think it's on the back of uh, deleveraging in China in terms of policy, um, uh, tightening of credit as well as some, some cuts in terms of the bulk commodities. Uh, so there will, we believe there will be a, a clearing of pipeline stocks and then a, re a resetting and a reappreciation of the price. I said at the top you listed in London as well as Johannesburg. I want to bring up the London uh, share price. So you've only been listed in London, of course, I think from June last year, is that right? Correct, yes. But the shares between London and Johannesburg are fully fungible. fungible. Correct. Um, yeah. So it's a lot far further, tra far further back track record. Um, this, is, this is where things stand at the moment. You've seen a little bit of an uptick today on the back of these results, I think about 1.4% or so forth. Uh, what's your message to shareholders um, when you go forward from this point in terms of engagement, shareholder engagement? Yes, yeah, certainly. So I think we're a unique business. Um, if you compare the rest of the platinum industry, in South Africa, the average depth is 750 meters below surface, high labor intensity. We're a, a, a lean, efficient operation. We have a low cost structure, which allows us to be profitable throughout the cycle. Um, and we've seen material volatility within Chrome and PGMs, and yet we're still able to post uh, profits. So it's really the extent of those, uh, those margins, depending on the macro fundamentals. But uh, we're a long life, sustainable, competitive business. And I think that's really our message. There, and we believe that there's a, a strong, compelling value case. If you look at our price to earnings compared to our peers, we sit right at the bottom end uh, with, with a, a, a strong value proposition. Um, and ultimately, we're looking uh, to investors to see that and support the business through, through, its, uh, through its growth. And what about dividends and payment for shareholders? So, and so, so we forth? announced, what are your, what are your yeah, so we have a strong capital discipline. We announced our maiden dividend last year of one US cent yeah. per share. Uh, it's an annual dividend policy of a minimum of 10% net profit after tax to be distributed to shareholders. And we'd see that as the base case. And obviously, as the business becomes more profitable and generates more cash, we'd consider increasing that. Good. OK, well, look, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Likewise. And uh, congratulations on the numbers. Very impressive. Thank Thanks so much indeed uh, for joining us. Fifos Perulis, uh, Chief Executive of Teresa, the company which specialises in chrome and platinum, based in South Africa, listed in Johannesburg and also here in London.